Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Wednesday, July 14th, around 11.30 p.m. 2021. That's mountain time. And Null School is showing that the fires, well, they're not growing. And that's good news. The smoke has been reduced over the last few days, and some rain here has reduced the haze. But the big story, Death Valley had the planet's hottest 24 hours on record Sunday amid punishing heat wave. Now, they really had to adjust the maths on this and make it the hottest average temperature ever recorded. But the maths are real, and it shows nothing more than manipulation of fear. In, on the planet. The high temperature barely got above 128 degrees at 128.6, pales in comparison to the 134 degrees and higher recorded on our planet in decades past. Keep calm. They're lying. It's boom time, kids. The tropics just logged its second coldest temperature in history. As all-time record cold sweeps South America, it's cold everywhere. Take a look. It was just 74 degrees for a high in the Four Corners region. Record summer chill sweeps the United States as subpolar cold hits Africa, threatening an acute maize shortage. That's corn if you're just born. It's setting up to be a historically cool summer across much of the con U.S., particularly for the Midwest and the South. And we'll get to that later in the video. Now let's take a look. Antarctic sea extent. The largest since 2015, and it's growing, and that's boom time. Damaging winds and flooding threat to the upper Midwest. Monsoon in the Southwest. We reported on it. We predicted it two weeks ago, and there you go. Flooding, threats, and warnings for New Mexico, southern Arizona, Utah, and areas that don't get rain. It's insane. If you're doing the canyons in Utah, look out. You could be sucked away. Now let's see what they have to say. Severe thunderstorms are expected to bring damaging winds, hail, and heavy rain, which may lead to flash flooding this evening across the upper Midwest. Isolated damaging winds are also possible ac across New England this evening. As well, monsoon moisture will contribute to the development of isolated strong thunderstorms with heavy rain, which may bring flash flooding Thursday, which is your, well... Your moisture day. The bootleg fire in Oregon is among more than 60 wildfires in the U.S. And at Null School, nothing significant showing except up here in Canada. Holy macaroni. British Columbia, Saskatchewan, Alberta. Look at that. Even in Ontario. or No, that's, this is uh, Ottawa, perhaps. I don't live in Canada. I'm hoping I know that's Ottawa. But take a look at the fires up in Canada. They pale in comparison to all the fires in the U.S. So those are the facts. NASA predicts a wobble in the moon's orbit may lead to record flooding on Earth. A new paper coming out confirming the 18.6-year lunar standstill. Well, that the Mayans and that the ancient Puebloans in the Four Corners region knew about, if you just go over to Chimney Rock, the uh, archaeoastronomy has been figured out, and they were looking for the 18.6-year lunar standstill, which our scientists still don't understand because they haven't stood still for years. <laughs> Seismic update, no quakes of note, heavy activity in the Caribbean. Kick them Jenny much? Only problem is these quakes are nowhere near that. But they are near Cuba, <laughs> where there's a lot of fireworks going off. Take a look at this quake up in Canada. 2.8, north of Messina, New York, and another East Coast quake. Holy mackerelly. 2.7, 9 kilometers south-southwest of Narrows, Virginia. Is the New Madrid waking up? Well, yes, we already told you that that's what's happening. But were you listening? I doubt it. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Karimski. Reventador Sangay Leivotolo, Navalos de Chilan, Sabancaya, Suanosima. And Tal, don't forget the Tal volcano now, Leivotolo. Volcanic ash advisory to 7,500 feet, and that's uh, back on the list. We've been talking about that for years. Etna, after over 48 hours, a new paroxysm, a explosive activity continues to 20,000 feet. I'm a footman. Etna, boom, there it is, 20,000 foot. Take a look. Tall volcano 
in the Philippines. Activity is updated. We did a whole expose over at Magnetic Reversal News. Check it out. Total wipeout upcoming moon wobble could cause mass flooding across Earth, scientists warn. Now, Jennifer Murahasi and I have talked about this at length. It's one of the reasons why they blame Carl Bleaching on anthropogenic global warming, but they couldn't be further from the truth. It's natural climate variability in the forms of El Nino and La Nina. But more importantly, the lunar standstill happening every 18.6 years. And that is what they're warning about. And guess when the next time that's happening? Yes. In the future where the grid is down. The scientists link June's heat wave these scientists link June's heat wave to climate change in just nine days. That means they're charlatans and frauds, period. There is no scientist that could, well, I don't even know. If I have to explain it to you, <laughs> rapid increases in extreme months in projections of United States high tide flooding. Here it is again. There's the paper, not a schmaper. This is the one talking about the lunar standstill every 18.6 years. And the fact that, well, you're about to get flooded. And it's not your fault. It's the moon's fault. It's summer. And that means the mysterious return of glacial ice worms. Now, very little study has been done on these little buggers. And they should be because they could be crawling in your ears in an episode of The X-Files. <laughs> Tall volcano. Activity updated, uh, elevated seismic activity, more than 180 volcanic quakes, including 176 plus volcanic tremors from July 11th to the 12th, as well as, well, tiltimeters swelling, says Tal Volcano is about to go boom. Check out our video on Magnetic Reversal News to get the full update. Here's one of the articles coming out July 6th. Tal may erupt at any moment. Now, scientists are worried due to record-breaking gas emissions, including SO4, the largest amount of SO4 ever emitted from the volcano. And this includes the VEI-4 eruption event back in 2020, January 12th, in fact. And so this could be a big boom, so stay tuned. Elusive glass octopus spotted in the remote Pacific Ocean. Only its eyes and optic nerve and di Digestive tract are opaque and visible. And this is one of the most fascinating objects, well, on planet Earth, except for the Loch Ness Monster and the Spaghetti Monster. This one takes the cake. Now, there are other creatures that live at depth in our deep oceans that are completely unknown to us and maybe more spectacular than this, and I'm sure they are. And, uh, but the, the known species at depth, like the anglerfish and other species, are just completely fascinating with bioluminescence and complete transparency. Take a look at that. Fantastic. The world we live in. Why most people who now die with COVID in England have had the vaccination. Well, you do the maths. Six fully vaccinated people who attended an outdoor wedding caught the Delta variant in India but people with Pfizer and Moderna shots survived, study says. The local shot, the Indian shot, which is called the Wu flu vaccinitis or whatever it's called. <laughs> no, what actually did they get? Let's hear, hear what it's called here. The preprint from Bear College of Medicine found that only that one person who recently got an Indian-made vaccine that called the Covavaxin died. The Covavaxin must be amazing now. At least eight people are dead after a hotel collapsed in eastern China. After the collapse in southern Florida, what are the odds that another hotel or condo would collapse? Holy sh China builds a dangerous backdoor to the U.S. electrical grid. Have you heard in a shocking new report from the Christian Broadcasting Network, <laughs> an excellent source, not. China has built a backdoor access to America's electrical grid. This is a dangerous update on the potential threat to our most vital and public services at maintaining electricity to our people. Hello, this is not even a talking point. If you're not up to speed and you read this, you could believe this bullshit, but I digress. A simple EMP device, which North Korea, South Korea, and dozens of other nations own could simply be launched into the atmosphere and deployed, which would take out the grid worldwide. The genome of a human from an unknown population has been recovered from a cave of dirt. 
Now, similar to the work of Mud Fossil University, which is complete shite, this is actual science. And what they did was they took um, some of the cave sediments in this location and they did genetic analysis. And this would be from skin shedding from people living in the cave. And they found, well, an unknown population of hominids. Yes. Fantastic. We have Denisovians, Neanderthals, and Homo sapiens in an unknown population. That's how much we know about our recent history. Nothing. But it's growing. Now, a day is not exactly 24 hours ever. In fact, many people are fear-mongering about how fast the planet is spinning. In fact, it is estimated to spin, well, really fast by October of this year. Take a look. It's actually going to be 2.59 milliseconds shorter than any other day on the planet. Well, not really. This is on the average day. And it's not really unprecedented. And it's certainly not psychotically fast, as some people report. If it was so psychotically fast, then what happens back here when it's so psychotically slow. Do you know what I'm saying? The same amount of slowing happened just as recently as 2016. 2.49 milliseconds slow versus 2.59 milliseconds fast. That's almost a statistical aberration of nothing. So anyone who says that it's psychotically fast here when it's, I guess, psychotically slow here is just psychotic. Not only that, if we just go back to 1982, the data, 1983, take a look how slow the earth was back then. Why didn't we all stop and hit the wall? If this is so psychotically fast at 2.59 milliseconds fast, why isn't 3.36 or 3.49 milliseconds dangerously slow. I'll never know because it's all nonsense to scare the out of you for no reason. Until we see this change by uh, the length of uh, 5, 10, 20, 40 seconds, no one has anything to worry about ever. Now, MIT predicted in 1972 that society will collapse this century, and new research shows that we're right on schedule. The 1972 MIT study predicted that racket ep economic growth, dystopian rules, and overreach of government will lead to societal collapse in the mid-21st century, and a new paper shows we're unfortunately right on schedule. Limits to growth is where the paper is listed, and given the... Uh, unappealing prospect of a collapse, they were curious to see which scenarios were aligning most closely with the empirical data today. After all, the book that features this world model was a bestseller in the 70s, and by now we'd have several decades of empirical data which could make a comparison at least meaningful, but to no surprise, yes, the world is about to collapse. In fact, by the, the date is 2040, which coincides to the Micronova, magnetic excursion, and many other sh things. And so, ding, ding, we'll leave you the full paper. How to build with Cobb. Well, when the grid goes down, we're going to need how to build structures, and all you need is mud, sand, and a little bit of straw. Cobb is a natural building material made from clay, sand, and straw, and water. And it's an old English word meaning lump. There will be links to videos, how to make Cobb, and how to build a Cobb structure video. So check out how to build with Cobb. We're going to be doing some Cobb projects shortly. And we'll be sharing them with you in, well, just a few weeks, how to build with Cobb. Now, Democratic senators move to dec decriminalize marijuana at the federal level. Good news. Will it pass? Well, I doubt it. Being biological inoculant available now in one to four ounce packages at easygrowfood.com, and we get a little kickback. So if you want to support the channel, support your growing. Beam, soil booster, restoring vitality to the earth, all natural balance and health to create living soils. Now, I don't have to sell this product to you. We'll just look at a picture here about Beam's amazing benefits. Here is Beam applied under the left side of the tree in an ancient orchard where the orchard was dying off. 
And well, here's the right side of the tree. Here's the left side. And this was photos cur courtesy of the Center for Regenerative Agriculture at CSU Chico. And they apparently know what they want to do. Full instruction manual, manual at beamcompost.com. And every single ounce of beam you buy, well, we get a little piece of the prize. So you get better soil, better crops, increased production, and support the channel. Holy macaroni. How does beam work? I'll leave you links below so you can know by yourself. But just in a nutshell, Dr. Johnson has found the ratio between fungi and bacteria in the soil that is critical to plants' productivity, and he mimicked it. And all you have to do is wash a little bit off the bean product that's sent to you into water, inoculate your seeds and your soil, and you're good to go. And you'll have maximum production. Now, if you're a happy bird seed grower, you will want maximum uh, production, well, for the health and benefits of your people and your flock. Here's the current flock. For just a few dollars, you can get yours. What else do we need to say? Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in a dystopian world where the reset is coming sooner. And we're not bumming. We're prepping. Don't be scared. Be prepared. Prior proper preparation prevents piss poor performance. When the grid goes down and you go hungry, bow, bow, bow. Click on one of the other boxes to get up to speed. And we'll see you soon. And that's a boom to knowledge. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks all our one-time donors, our Patreons, the people that share this video. You're all heroes. And that's a boom. Dun, 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 dun.